Hello everybody, this time we are going to uh, try to fix uh, the dryer. Refrigerator. Okay, and if you are going to press it. Okay. Okay, the lady said that uh, it doesn't dry. Okay, so we have no hot air inside of the dryer. So what we are going to do, we are going to fix it. Okay, we are going to open this cover. This is something new for us. We never did this before. This one, this particular time. Okay, let's see how we open it. Okay. I'm going to put this on the side and we have another another cover. been informed that three people tried to fix it they couldn't succeed a bunch of screws over here Please notice that uh, there is uh, there is no flame up there. Okay, so it means uh, there is something power with the ignition. Okay, so uh, let's see what we can what we can do about it. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to test uh, the igni ignition, right? Uh, whatever you call something that burns the gas. Okay, and. Uh, Let's see uh, how it uh, looks like. We're supposed to uh, notice some kind of continuity. Okay, in order to do uh, continuity, I'm going to use the digital multimeter. Okay. So what I did, I simply disconnected the okay ignition right from here. Okay, and I'm going to measure the continuity. Okay. So uh, we're supposed to measure it. As you can see on the meter, okay, there is some continuity, so it looks that this is good, okay, but we still have no fire up there. So what we are going to do next, we are going to measure if power comes to that <laughs> ignition, right? So we assume this is this is AC power, okay, as I told you, we, did, we didn't do this before, and we have <coughs> over here. We are going to measure the power. Okay, I'm going to turn on. As you can see, there is no power. No power coming to uh, to the uh, you know the ignition, right? So what we are going to do? We are going to try. Maybe this is going to be DC power. I don't know. Let's see. As I told you, I never did this before. As you can see, it's, it's not working. So we get no power. So the, the problem, the problem is somewhere else. Okay, guys. Uh, you know, as I said, we have no power. Okay, in order to burn the gas. So what I found out. Okay, I got behind the. You know, I opened the cover in the back. Okay, and I found that there is sensor over here. Okay, which. Uh, basically detects the temperature okay in order to do not overheat the system <laughs> hey guys after after a kind of long investigation we found that there are some other uh, sensors over here okay two of them and i found out well, that one is missing the continuity okay so this is the top of the the dryer 
Okay, and what I did, I just used two alligator wires uh, and made a short, okay, just short it, okay, over here I short it, and, and let's see what will happen right now if I'm going to turn on the, the dryer, okay, I short, there are two of them, the other one is, uh, oh, see, one, one of them is short, so let's see what will happen if I'm going to uh, turn on the, the dryer. Okay, I'm turning on the dryer and let's see what will happen. This time. See, it's working. So let's see. You're supposed to see the flame. the flame the gas is on okay so it is working so right now what I'm going to do I'm going to go to the store and purchase this component and install it to the dryer see you later okay guys so uh, we simply remove this uh, temperature sensor Okay, it was kind of difficult to pull this out, so that's why I used the different tools drill right to, to pull this out. Okay, we purchased the new one. Okay, this is this is this is basically the new one. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to because you know this 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 frame is still uh, in the dryer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this sensor from here, and I'm going to uh, use, use zip ties. Um, in the dryer and uh, I'm going to attach by the zip ties okay because I have no chance to open those those screws which will go which is supposed to go over here because they are too soft and the heads already messed up so I'm not going to be able to to attach it that's why I'm going to use the zip ties okay so let's see what we can do with it so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to just uh, free free this uh, sensor from the bracket okay almost done Okay, we have to be careful. Okay, let's try another one. Put this new sensor back okay so now I'm going to use zip ties zip ties to to make it stable okay as you can see it's kind of difficult to get there okay that's why I'm going to just use the zip ties we install the sensor okay we use the zip ties it's very uh, kind of hard to to get the access to it that's why we did this way it's going to work okay we assemble everything back Everything is assembled. Okay, and as I can see, there is flame up there. Okay, so the dryer is ready to use. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going just to cover everything up. And we have another happy client. The machine is on its place and is drying already. So everything is working fine, okay? So thank you for watching. I hope I help you. Uh, and I will see you uh, next time, right? So if you didn't subscribe, please subscribe. Okay, and see you the next video. Bye.